In this tutorial, I'll cover an easy way to set up a mobile version of your WordPress blog using a plugin called WP Touch. Now, I've looked at lots of different plugins, and this one is the easiest and the, the best one that I've found to be able to create a, a mobile version. I've actually been using that plugin on my site here, uh, edgechalk.org, for quite a while, and I just forgot about it. I set it up months ago, but I've just recently had the need to set up a mobile site for another Word press uh, install uh, and got back into looking at it and downloaded the professional version uh, that has a lot more features to it. Uh, but for this tutorial I'll show you how to s install the free version of the plugin and some basic configuration settings to get a mobile version of your blog. And then I might make some future tutorials going over the pro version and uh, some advanced feature in setting up a full-blown mobile site if you're using WordPress for a website versus just a simple blog. Uh, so just to show you how it looks, this is my full site here, edgychalk.org. I'm assuming you guys are familiar with WordPress, so I won't go over everything that's on it, but it's just set up to show the blog post on the home page. If I were to look at this in the mobile version, though, I've installed Safari in order to look at my site in the mobile view. It's just, it does best for iPhones and so forth. So I'm launching a copy of Safari here. If you do this on your computer and then go to the Development tab and User Agent, you'll be able to select an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad uh, so that the browser will render the pages as if it were rendering on an iPhone. It just simulates an iPhone, for example. So I'm going to select iPhone, and now it's going to render my page as if I were looking at it on my iPhone. It's going to show the mobile version of my site, essentially. So what I can do is drag it down to the about the smallest size that the browser will be, and then this here is essentially what my site would look like on my iPhone. Now it's the mobile version of the site. So here you see my post. Uh, it's a pretty nice plug-in. Uh, it will show all your posts here, uh, title and any of the meta information that you want to show. I can click the little uh, arrow here to see an excerpt of the post and then I can click here to read the entire post. Uh, so once you install it and configure it, you can click through here to see all of the features, but it's pretty nice. Uh, it gives you some icons down here to navigate and email items and uh, shows you comments that are added and so forth. Uh, so it's a pretty nice plug-in. Uh, you have a drop-down here. You have a drop-down here for menus to show your other pages and so forth that you have. I don't have a lot of pages on this blog. And then you can choose to show your tags and categories and a login to your account and so forth. So to create this mobile version of your site, it's pretty simple. Just go to your dashboard on your WordPress blog, go to the plugins area, and add new plugin, and you're going to search for WP Touch. WP Touch is what you want to install. It's already installed on my computer, but install it. Once you install it, then on the left-hand side, you'll see under settings, you'll see a link for WP Touch. Just go to that link and you can configure a lot of things about how your site will work. Now there's a pro version, uh, it's about 40 bucks. If you did upgrade to the pro version then you'll have a lot more features. Uh, I ran the free version on this site for a long time, still running the free version on this site, uh, but I have the pro version on another site that I'm building and it does provide you with a lot more flexibility. So um, 40 bucks, it's, it's pretty well worth it. A disclaimer here, I don't have anything, I don't have any relationship with WP Touch Pro. I just bought it and uh, I like it. It works pretty well. So you can come down and do your settings here. So I just look at a couple here where it says home page redirection. Uh, if you just leave that to WordPress settings, then the home page of your mobile site will be the same as the home page of your full site. So you could come in here and select a different home page if you wanted, for example. So I have the home page here to my blog post, but if I wanted my home page, for example, to be the about page, uh, then I could select that, and that would only show then on my mobile site. So if I save those options, just as an example here, and go back and refresh my mobile site, you'll see now the about page is the home page on my mobile site. I can click down to the menu, but the home page of my regular site hasn't changed. It's still my post page. 
so so lots of settings that you have in the back end and I won't go through all of them they're pretty self-explanatory but um, a nice little plug-in and it's no more difficult than just installing the plug-in and going through a few configuration settings to uh, get it to working. In a future video I'll show you some more advanced things that you can do in WP Pro. If you're using WordPress just as a blogging platform then this has pretty much everything that you would need but if you're using WordPress as a website uh, and not necessarily simply a blogging platform and you want to render a mobile version of your website then it may be worth it to pay the 40 bucks for WP Touch Pro uh, because you have a lot more ability there to configure how your website's going to work and in the next few weeks I'll make a few videos showing the WP Touch Pro interface how to configure that uh, some of the things that I still ran into that I had problems with but um, that I was able to figure out uh, just through going in and changing some coding and so forth so it's well worth installing the free version configuring it doesn't impact your main site at all but it will allow your um, blog to be rendered much better on smartphones